got some Journey up in here for you. Man, that guy's got a monster voice. Crazy, right? Anyway, um, before we get into it, just let me let you know that I am Finbar of Finbar Bass. Please click on my bass tutorials. They're not on YouTube. They are right down there in the YouTube text box. And I believe I have a basic, intermediate, and an advanced in there for you if you want them. And I'll talk more about those later, but let's roll right up into some journey, yo. All right, so right in the intro, you got a quick staccato, bam, third fret of the E string. Yeah. Sorry, I just detuned on my last lesson. Ha! Uh, third string of the E, third fret of the E string. And then second fret of the E you're going to do twice, so you got... And then an open E. So these are just some real super quick notes just right in the beginning. Uh, one hit on the third fret of the E. Two on the second fret of the E. And then one open E. It kind of, that's like a little bit of foreshadowing tell you, tells you uh, what's coming up next. Okay. Then you have the uh, famous, right? And what that is, is real simple. You're just alternating between the third fret and the second fret of the A string. Just like that, and you'll hear that um, within the rest of the song as well. Just like that, so you got third, second, third, second, third, second, and then the third fret of the E string. So you're gonna be first on the A, then you're gonna go to the E. And then from right there, you're gonna put your finger back up on the third fret of the A and do this number. Just like that. And again, these are repeated later on in the song. So even though it's just in the intro, definitely learn these parts. <clears throat> so, so far, if I do it slow, we have. What that last part is, you hit the third fret of the A. Then you're going to hit the open uh, G, I'm sorry, the open D, second fret of the D, and then open again. And then you just descend third, second, and then open on the A. Third, second, open. And then you're going to hit the third fret of the E string. To end it. Right. So if I do that up to speed. Just like that. Okay, so for the verses where he starts singing, she loves to laugh. So what you're doing there is you're going to hit four hits on this third fret of the um, of the E string. And then three hits on the second fret. It might sound like he's just doing two hits there, but I think he's doing uh, three and kind of uh, accenting on two. So, see that? There's a four hits there. And then three hits on the second. Third fret of the E, second fret. And then stay right there. You're going to do the same thing. Four hits on the second fret of the E, and then going into three hits on the open E. So all that together, slowly. Right? And then you have, then you're going to drone. You're going to, on the open E. It's like seven hits on the open E. And then you go back into that part right there. So all together, slowly. Two hits on the third fret of the E after you do the. And that's the same thing we did in the intro. Right there. And then that just repeats because after you go. It goes back into the first part I showed you, third fret and then the second fret. So if I do that all together. Keeps spinning around and repeating just like that. 
for the last measure, you're gonna do this number here. And then you're gonna go into the chorus. And what that was, was open E, second fret and then third fret of the E. Open A, second fret of the A, and then back to the third fret of the E, so slow. Just like that. So for the chorus, you're gonna be on the third fret of the E string. And then sometimes he goes into that fifth fret, I believe, of the uh, fifth fret of the A. And, and, but most of the time, I believe he's going from the third fret of the E to the second fret of the E. And you already know that part, because that's been we've been doing that since the uh, intro. So again, first you're on the third fret, and then the second fret of the E. And then open E, and then you're gonna do, so you're going, and ending that with two hits on the third fret of the E string, right? Um, and that gets varied, that last measure. Sometimes you don't do the, when the chorus is going on or in the guitar solo, you'll hear it. Sometimes he does this part. And that's identical to the, uh, the one I showed you in the, uh, in the um, intro. Uh, also, sometimes you'll hear it, he just basically drones on that third fret of the A. So you'll hear it like this sometimes. Just like that. All right, got some journey in there for you any way you want it. That's the way you need it. Um, I am Finbar of Finbar Bass. Thank you so much for listening. And please click on those bass tutorials I have right down there in the YouTube text box. Um, they're free. They're not on YouTube, so you can only get them by clicking on that. And um, what's cool about them, I think, and the whole idea behind all this is we're practicing the bass, right? We're learning all kinds of techniques. You're learning um, bass tone, you're learn learning hammer-ons, pull-offs, you're getting your chops up to speed, right? But we're doing it in such a way that's not just rote repetition, right? You're actually learning it through doing something that you love, through music. And that's, that's fun, you know? You're actually basically having fun, but you're practicing at the same time. And you almost don't even know that you're learning something. But you are, you're getting better on the bass and you're getting more up to speed, you're getting your chops and you're learning all kinds of techniques and cool stuff on the bass. So click on those tutorials and I think they'll really help you out. Anyway, once again, I'm Finbar. Thank you so much for listening and have fun with that one, yo.